Hi everyone, my name is Emma and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about trust in e-commerce. So basically what this is going to be about is just website trustworthiness and reliability. So to start, we need to understand why it's important for a, a website to be reliable. Um, the biggest thing is misinformation is everywhere and because of this, um, it can spread really quickly. There's tons of different websites that were built five minutes ago, and a lot of these people don't have any qualifications to be talking about what they are talking about, and they're just spreading information just to spread it. Um, and as I said, um, bad information does spread really quickly. As we all know, Facebook is very notorious for this in all forms of social media. Um, echo chambers become a big thing where people are panicking over things that just aren't true or spreading just bad information and misinforming people. Um, and also sketchy websites can put you in very dangerous situations. For example, we all know about the dark web. Um, while there's a lot of rumors about it, there are instances in which people have bought things that they probably shouldn't have bought or there are different websites in which people can hack your devices if you're not careful and they can locate you and use all your personal information, things like that. So it's just important to understand which websites we can rely on and which ones to avoid. So how do we do this? Um, while this isn't everything that you can use to determine a website's reliability, these are some good basics. Um, you wanna look for established websites. So websites that have been around for a while, but in addition to this, you wanna make sure that they're still up to date. You wanna make sure they've been around a while, but that they're not too old. Um, look for well-built websites. Um, make sure everything on them works correctly, that links take you where they're supposed to take you. For example, if you're adding something to your shopping cart, make sure it ends up in your shopping cart, um, things like that. You also want to make sure if you're using website for information um, that you look for bias. For example, all, a lot of college students, when they're writing papers, they need to make sure that they're using sources that don't lean into opinion that causes their paper to be biased. Um, say you're writing a paper on brown rice is better than white rice, you want to make sure you're using actual information and not using a website from someone who's a white rice enthusiast or something silly like that. And you also want to look at the overall look of a website. Um, just does it look right? Does it look up to date? Um, well, did the person who built it know what they were doing and things like that? So now I'm going to go into a couple different examples. Um, there's going to be three of them. And as you can see, I provided screenshots of each of their actual website. Um, and we're just going to go through their reliability and their trustworthiness. And each of the three have different levels from my perspective, if I were to be a new customer. And all these websites are real. They're actual established companies. This is just me pretending as if I were a new customer who's never been here before. So the first one we have is Hagger's Grocery. Um, it's a grocery store. So from the looks of it, it is a pretty well-built website. It looks nice for the most part. It could be improved a little bit, as you can see with the logo. It's, if you were to look at it closer, it's a little pixelated. Um, so it does look a little dated in that aspect. Um, it is well-established. This website's been around for a while, yet everything is still up to date. All the links work as they're supposed to. You can sign in. You can have an actual account with this website. Um, so when we take all this into account, I'd call it fairly trustworthy, although there are some things that could be improved upon. Our next example is the Loud American Roadhouse. Um, what you can't see from the screenshot is that main picture where it says Jack Daniels in that stage. That's actually a video and it's constantly switching between different videos. Um, so based off of this, you can tell that whoever built this website knew what they were doing. It looks very nice and it's very well built. Everything works as it's supposed to. Um, this is another very well established website. It's been around for a while, but it's very up to date. They have all their concert dates, um, everything like that is up to date. So I would consider this website to be incredibly trustworthy. Then our last example is Boss's Pizza and Chicken. So this is another restaurant. It's a pizza place, as you can tell from the title. Um, I wouldn't say it looks the nicest. You can definitely read everything, but whoever built it was definitely not professional. Um, in the sense that it wasn't their career. Um, everything works as it should. Links take you to where, you're, where it's supposed to, so it's built correctly. And what I failed to mention with the last two slides was that those both work well um, on the phone as well as the computer. This one does not work well on phones. Um, it's one of those websites where you kind of have to move it around to be able to read everything, and it's really only designed to be used on the computer. 
So with all of this into account, I would consider this website to be moderately trustworthy, although there's a lot of things it could improve on. So just to summarize the entirety of this presentation, we went over why reliability is important. Um, that's because we don't want to spread misinformation and we also want to stay out of potentially dangerous situations. Um, we also went over how to determine reliability. So looking at their established dates, um, is everything up to date? Does everything work? Does it look nice? Does it have bias? Things like that. And then we went over three different examples of different websites, all at different levels of trustworthiness. And that's all I have. Thank you.